Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with elimination. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. 5a plus 5b plus 5c equals negative 20. 4a plus 3b plus 3c equals a negative 6. And negative 4a plus 3b plus 3c equals 9. And we need to solve this system by elimination. Well, first thing I want to do is I see two equations that I can add together um, that will eliminate a variable. All right? I see this first, the second one, and the third one. So let's go rewrite that here. I have 4a plus a 3b plus a 3c equals a negative 6. And then the second one, negative 4a plus 3b plus 3c equals a 9. If I add these two equations right off the bat, then we're going to add them together, a's are going to cancel. 4a plus a negative 4a cancels out. So then 3b plus 3b is a 6b, and 3c plus a 3c is a 6c as well. And that's equal to, well, negative 6 plus 9 is a positive 3. All right. But what happens now, let's we'll see if we can eliminate another variable. If I take my first equation and I multiply it by, well, 4, what do I get? 4 times 5a is a 20a, so right here. 4 times 5b is a 20b. We have 20c again. And then 4 times negative 20 is a negative 80. If I take my uh, what is it, second equation here and I multiply that by 5, Look what happens. 5 times 4a is a 20a. 5 times 3b is a 15b. 5 times 3c is a 15c. And 5 times negative 6, negative 30. And in doing so, I kind of set these things up where if I subtract the equations here, the variable a will get eliminated again. So 20a minus 20a gets out at 0. 20b minus 15b is a 5b, and then 20c minus a 15c is again a 5c, and well, what does that equal? Negative 80 uh, minus a negative 30 is like adding a positive 30, negative 50 here, okay? Well, there's two equations here, and we want to bring them together to see if we can eliminate something. So we can either multiply it by a value or add it uh, uh, divide by something, and see so if we get the variables to cancel. If I divide actually this whole thing by 5 here, I'm left with, right, I can divide the whole thing by 5. B plus C equals a negative 10. Great. Why don't I divide this whole thing by 6? Six? 6 is canceled. We have, well, B plus C equals a 1 half. Great. Let's bring this equation over here. We bring a uh, b plus c equals a negative 10. And let's subtract these two equations here. Well, by doing so, our b values cancel. b minus b is 0. And c minus c is also 0. So we have 0 on the left-hand side. That's weird. The variables all cancel. On the right-hand side, 1 half minus a negative 10 or adding a positive 10 it's going to be like, well, what's a 1 half minus a negative, adding a positive? That's 10 and 1 half. What does 0 equal 10 and 1 half? Well, no. So it's a weird thing here. Two variables canceled, and we got something that wasn't really true. So what does that mean? That means for this problem, we have no unique solution. Meaning that there's no one unique solution that makes this whole thing true. So our final answer here, kind of a little different, is no unique solution. Hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.